Often, people believe we've uncovered everything the world has to offer. Clearly though, that isn't the case, as researchers in Peru have discovered possibly the heaviest animal to ever live. This animal is known as Parasutus colossus, or the colossal whale from Peru. This is honestly an astounding discovery, one of which I'm personally very excited about. To be fair though, who wouldn't be excited at the potential of uncovering the largest animal to ever, and I mean ever live, one of which could dwarf every single dinosaur from the Brachiosaurus to Argentinosaurus to even the blue whale in size by its mass alone. So Perusetus is an extinct genus of early whale from the Eocene period. It is part of the Basilosaurid family, which includes the more famous Basilosaurus. But let's get into what you all came here for, its size. Perusetus is known from a variety of bones, mainly 13 vertebrae, 4 ribs, and some parts of the pelvic region. Luckily, all these bones are collected from the same individual in Peru, which makes it easier when reconstructing. The length of this creature is estimated to be between 55 to 65 feet, or 17 to 20 meters. Now, I'm definitely going to butcher this name, but according to Bianuki et al. 2023, they yielded a total skeleton length that is estimated to be 20 meters, or 65 feet, in length. Now, I know I said that it's bigger than the blue whale, but a blue whale can grow over twice the this length. However, this newly discovered whale makes up with it in the weight department. And this is why he's known as a chonky boy. Its weight is estimated to reach between 85 to 340 tons. Now, comparing that to the blue whale, which on average weighs 100 tons and a maximum of 200 tons, we see that this extinct whale weighed around 3.4 times heavier than an average blue whale. Can we just take a moment and understand how just shocking, amazing, and boring that is? 3.4 times larger than the largest animal that we thought ever existed? Pretty extreme. This can be attributed to, at least in part, to the remarkably thick and compact bones that were possessed in conjunction with its already large length. The ecological behaviors and habitats of this extinct whale continue to predominantly elude understanding and analysis as it's only newly been discovered. Drawing insights from the available fossil record, it becomes evident that this creature likely existed as a citizen of the shallow aquatic environment. We can only guess what its state included, but we assume that it would have fed on benefic animals. This involves organisms such as crustaceans and mollusks, which inhabited the ocean seabed in their natural habitat. However, despite these guesses most likely being accurate, you should note that the skull of this animal hasn't been recovered yet, so we should still wait before making any certain assumptions. For example, and again, sorry if I butcher the name, but Dutch paleontologist Hans de Wissen said that I wouldn't be surprised if this thing actually fed in a totally different way than what we would have ever imagined. To me, this shows that there is an opportunity for surprising us that this animal may have had a completely different food habit or something else. While the fragmentary nature of this animal renders precise understanding on its locomotion to be very uncertain, some suggestions have been made. The elongated centra of the vertebrae, for instance, may suggest that it, like manatees, swam with the use of axial undulation. This further indicates that this creature inhabited shallow waters rather than open sea habitats. And if you don't know what that locomotion is, it is a type of motion that is characterized by wave-like movements or patterns that propel an animal forward. But I mean, wow. If we just take a look at some of the paleo art of this creature, I can see undoubtedly that it is an interesting and yet weird design. It almost looks more like Ross from Attack on Titan rather than an actual animal. But hey, that's why nature is so special and well impressive. I mean, despite that, you can tell there's just a chunky boy living his life to the absolute fullest. Now, of course, this animal is going to be the star of the news for a bit, especially considering it's been called the world's heaviest animal to ever exist. But let's be honest, the amount of times massive extinct creatures have been discovered, they've been given over-exaggerated weights to only be quietly corrected a few years later, happens way too often. So we can only wait and see what future research holds about this amazing one. So yeah, we've reached the end to this. Hope you all enjoyed. It's always very interesting when we discover new stuff like this. And can't wait to see what else. And I mean, all right, come on, do not forget to like and subscribe for more stuff like this. All right, see ya.